So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Taelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end, as Yahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the Spring Feast, the Aurum Feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid the waste for many centuries. As we read the Nier Shiahu the prophet, we always make mention of this great prophet because he was truly very acquainted with the times and the seasons during his own period, but not only his, but the future and also the time of the Messiah and then the completion of the Spring Feast and then the time of the thousand years of the Messiah and then also the thousand years of deceit and then the period of restoration in also the Autumn Feast. So let's understand what's going on in the world because today came out a very important piece of information because not only we understand Europe is then bankrupt. As Daniel has mentioned very precisely, as far as we can read, in knowledge shall increase, so it did, for the purposes of trade, obviously, because Daniel was a person related with trade. But then he states also in the 12th chapter in other places. But most importantly, as he said, in nations they would try to adhere to each other, but they would not. They were explaining of a system of their own, other than the very system he himself had initiated. And because of the mixture of religion and trade, then these nations would not adhere to each other. Now today came out the important information as far as these nations of the European Union, they are truly bankrupt. So then, he proves what Daniel has said is true. And then not only this, but came out some more, an article as far as China and Switzerland making sure they have a place then in Zurich for the exchange of the Chinese Yuan. It is absolutely amazing these times we are living in because the old ways is absolutely gone and the new ways are much simpler and then most of the nations can link up with China and start doing trade. And then the world can become a whole lot more simplified and making it easier for so many people then to become more prominent in doing trade and most importantly the returning of tabernacling. Along with this because not only we should be concerned with ourselves as far as our souls when we die or also related with the time of the restoration period and the trade. Now, why do we say or? Because some people, they don't even care if they have souls or not, as far as they can make a great deal. And then comes what the Messiah has said. What is for the man then, or for he or she, then to win the entire world, and then at the end, the soul then is lost. So the Messiah was very specific when he was speaking of this topic, because he was concerned with so many people in this world going after money and exchanges and more riches. And the Mishia was obviously explaining the time when then Ruach HaKodesh or the Holy Spirit would lead his people and then his people in turn would save the Gentiles. So there are ways and understandings where the organization is very precise and the Mishia truly was concerned with it. So as we then go forward in this new period of time, we can only then watch ourselves doing more trade via computer, via telephones, and then enjoying this new era because whatsoever we've learned in those last thousand years of deceit is absolutely gone. China is once again and saved in many countries as it did before, and China will become even greater from this point on. But well, let's then talk about regarding tabernacling, the most important place in the earth.
As we understand from Daniel, the 11th chapter, we are speaking of the time of the restoration period and the reflections of the time when Daniel spoke of those prophecies and then it had taken place as he said, so as it had taken place when prior of the thousand years of the Messiah and then during our time, time of the restoration period. Let's then understand the important factor of the kingdom of the north, east, and south. The next project we can expect from China is then the next couple of years, uniting then the entire country of China, linked up with the Chinese system, doing trade via computer or telephones, and then later on linking up with the rest of the world. And the Soviet Union becoming then the most prominent military force protecting the Chinese system. This is what we understand as far as, as the Kingdom of the North protecting the system of China and the Ishmaelites providing them fuel so then the new system can start obviously producing profit. So then as we understand this factor whatsoever we've learned before we should in a gradual sense then changing ourselves because the new system requires then precision via computer and becoming acquainted with mobile systems and forms of payments. This truly it is a great moment in history where Daniel then said precisely the nations would not adhere to each other under the system of their own yet then the system of Daniel However, computerized, then once again becoming then the leading force of the East and linking up the rest of the world. So, great news. Please stay tuned. Much more coming up.